All right, thank you. So, um, you know, I think Gus got some very good advice about no time limits, right? That's the deal tonight. <laughs> um, you know, June told me there were rules around how to show up, and um, I said, well, you know, I have a 45 slide deck. Do you think that that would be acceptable? <laughs> and um, I, you know, unlike Gus, I think I'm too much of a rule follower, so I'm not gonna show you my slide deck. I'll leave that for later. But I, I do want to thank you all so much for um, this incredible honor. Um, it is such an honor to receive this award alongside Gus. Another round of applause for Gus, please. And um, to be the first all Latino recipients recognized by the Partners in Care Foundation and all of you. This award truly represents the collective efforts and dedication of the entire HealthNet team. As the saying goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And that sentiment really underscores the approach that we take at HealthNet, where teamwork and dedication and collaboration is what really drives our success. I want to thank Brian Turnan, our HealthNet CEO. And Sarah London, our Centene CEO, who could not be here today, but she's here in spirit. And thank you, Dr. Chen, for joining us. You know, these individuals are very dedicated to our mission at Centene of serving our communities 1% at a time, and we could not do what we do without your leadership. I also want to thank my, uh, everybody who participated in uh, providing information for that video and just for sharing such kind words about our work at HealthNet and, and myself. You know, for a while, I didn't really think I deserved this award, but after looking at the video, I'm beginning to think maybe I did. <laughs> Thank you, June, and the Partners in Care team um, and the board for all the work you do and for your commitment to serving our communities and for providing a platform to really highlight the importance of delivering whole person care and for recognizing that people with lived experiences having a very important role to play in addressing some of our most vexing challenges. You know, reflecting on the evolution of our industry, um, we've certainly made significant strides. When I started in healthcare, fee-for-service dominated and shared risk felt like a gamble in Vegas. Since then, our state, the great state of California, has um, really embraced the Affordable Care Act Champion the Health for All expansions for all to cover all Californians, regardless of immigration status, and launched CalAIM, which is a transformative program really leading the charge in addressing social drivers of health and advancing health equity. As I listened to the reflections of the video, I could not help but to remember the very profound words of several great philosophers, uh, including Calvin Brodus Jr otherwise known as Snoop Dogg. <laughs> you can take the girl out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of the girl. <laughs> you know, that's, that's me, but it's also many of you. We do what we do because we know where we came from and where the people we serve come from. And it is that lived experience that makes a difference. The people we serve face challenges every day. Difficulties just to buy prescriptions or to make it to a doctor's appointment or to keep a roof over your head. We do what we do because of who we are and where we came from. And it is that lived experience that makes that difference because it does work. And we need more of that in our industry. All Californians deserve equitable access to the highest quality care delivered in a safe setting of care from medical professionals that come from the communities that we serve and are paid fairly. In California, we deserve nothing less, and we are capable of, capable of providing all of that and more. We cannot become complacent. Our outcomes must improve, our care must be more accessible and affordable, and our system more equitable. 
While our policy and our hearts may be demanding that we achieve these aspirational goals, our minds and our reality know that workforce supply has simply not kept pace. Burnout and administrative burden are taking a toll, and recruitment from diverse communities and financial aid are scarce. 48% of Los Angeles County residents and 40% of Californians identify as Latino. And according to some estimates, we're going to be sure 8,300, 8,800, pardon me, primary care physicians by 2030. And this community in particular is severely underrepresented in medicine. So we must drive the systems change necessary to unlock that talent and effectively tap into our human capital. One young adult that we lift out of poverty that embraces this calling and succeeds not only is going to be there to serve our community, but it's gonna result in economic mobility for generations to come. So. So let's all do our part to accelerate the change that we so desperately need. You know, look around the room for just a second. The people sitting around you. We are the healthcare leaders. There is no other room of leaders. We're it. If not us, who? If not now, when? As leaders, we must set the path forward to allow our human capital to thrive and rise to the occasion. And this endeavor requires collective effort, finding partners, advocating for change, and securing resources. If you aren't already involved, I urge you to join us in solving the provider shortage and enabling economic mobility. Effectively serving our communities demands all hands on deck. 40 years ago in Oxnard, California, as some might affectionately call it, Chiquias, my family was that family that needed these services to succeed. Esther Santana, an immigrant and single mother, raised us with an unwavering determination despite immense challenges. And her resilience and tenacity are ingrained in me today and continue to inspire me every day. To my eight younger brothers and sisters, thank you for all the love, the grief, the challenges and the support. You all make me who I am today. I also wanna thank my immediate family who believe in me, support me, and keep me grounded. My husband, Stephen, and our sons. Noah, Jacob, and Marcus, as well as our dear friends who form our village, you all motivate me to give every day and encourage me even when it all seems so daunting. Throughout my career, I've been fortunate to um, have worked under remarkable leaders like Castulo de la Rocha, Martha Smith, and Brian Turnan, who empowered me to really make a difference, and to each of you, I am eternally grateful. I'd now like to ask the entire HealthNet and Centene team to please stand. I would not be up here without you tonight. You all share a relentless dedication to the communities we serve. You're my inspiration and you deserve this recognition, so thank you. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to thank just all of our partners um, who have worked with us over the years. Together we've achieved so much, but our journey is far from over. With our collective dedication and collaboration, I am confident that we will continue to push boundaries and make a lasting impact. The present and the future of healthcare delivery in California is in our hands, and I think we're up to that task. Thank you all once again for this honor, and let's keep striving together towards a brighter, more equitable future in healthcare. Thank you.